Well, tonight I'm going to make five spice chicken, but I should actually call it four spice chicken because one of the ingredients in the recipe I don't like, so I omit it. Um, I don't put adobo in here. You'll see that on the recipe, but I'm not using it today. Here are my ingredients. I have olive oil, salt, garlic powder, ground mustard, cayenne pepper, paprika, milk, heavy cream, butter, cream cheese, and boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Um, this recipe is so delicious and it's incredibly simple to make. I'm going to just explain to you how I'm going to do it. I'm going to start by melting the butter with the olive oil in the skillet. I'll season the chicken with my spice mixture, which is all of them, and then I'm just going to make the sauce, uh, which is the milk and the cream and the cream cheese, and that's really it. This is such a quick dinner because the boneless, skinless chicken thighs are thin and they cook very quickly. Now here's the chicken in the skillet. I've seasoned it on both sides and I'm cooking it in the olive oil butter mixture. I'm going to cook it for three minutes and then flip it and cook the other side for three minutes. Here you can see the nice color that this chicken has. I cooked it and just flipped it so that now it's cooking on the other side. You can see it made a really nice seasoned crust. It's going to be delicious. When this is done cooking, I'm going to plate the chicken and make my sauce. The instructions originally told me to make the sauce with the chicken in there, but when you're melting cream cheese, it's hard. So I, this is a little tip. I like to remove the meat, make the sauce, and then put it back in together. Here I'm making my sauce. I have the cream cheese, the milk, and the heavy cream in that same pan that I removed the chicken from. And you're just going to use a whisk or something like this and stir this around so that it starts to melt. Um, keep it on medium to low heat, medium low heat. You don't want this to burn or anything. You're just trying to melt that cream cheese. Now's a really good time also to check to make sure that your chicken is fully cooked. So just take a knife, cut into the thickest part of your chicken, and just peek inside to make sure that it's cooked. If it's not, whenever you return the chicken to this pan, you're just gonna keep an eye on it and cook it for a little longer. Well, here's the chicken. You can see that the sauce is thickened up nicely. Combined it here, I'm gonna spoon the sauce over the chicken before I serve it. And I plan on roasting some carrots in the oven and having some rice with this meal. And I can just serve the chicken atop the rice with the, the sauce. I hope that you've liked watching me cook, and if you'd like to see more, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.